Okay, so this is the last set, number four. Uh, we're talking about Vesper and Valence bond theory. So we talked about the Lewis structures, and then we talked about the geometry based on the electron group, and also uh, molecular shape, counting the orientation of bonds, connection of bonds, and the shape. Uh, and the finally, we're talking about what kind of hybrid orbital are you going to form, and that's based on the balanced bond theory. And this problem is asking you about this. So let's solve this problem one by one, and then I can uh, I can explain it to you. So first thing is the ClO3 minus. Probably this is the one the Lewis structure is most difficult one uh, to figure out. The chlorine is right there, and there are three oxygens with the negative charges in it. And chlorine. So chlorine goes in the center. So you can go to the the rigorous uh, counting the number of valence shell electron and so on. Here I just want to sh uh, show you how to solve it in a much more uh, quicker way. So what I'm going to say is chlorine is going to in the middle and I don't want to, I would like to include an uh, electron there. So that means an 8 electron in chlorine minus. And then oxygen-wise, we already know oxygens can form these bonds with the negative charges. And this one, oxygen is a six electron. You need two bonds, two electrons to form this bond and satisfy the octet rule, right? So therefore, there are three, three electrons. So you are going to form three, and they need each oxygen need two electrons. So six electrons are being used up to form this oxygen with double bond and four more charges. As you might recall that they can go back and forth with by forming double bond with no four more charges. And that's uh, something that we're going to deal with it uh, to figure out the, um, uh, the the Lewis structures to minimize the four more charges, okay, so by doing so. But at any rate, so I used the six electron, what was in the middle is a eight electron, so you have left with two electrons, and like I did before, two electrons are paired up, and one lone pairs, right? How many bonds we are talking about here from six electron? Three quote-unquote bonds, okay? Here is a base on the, I'm counting double bond, single bond as a count as a bond to in terms of electron geometry perspective. So, the so most important one is EG is a uh, number of lone pairs and number of bonds. And then how many lone pairs? One. How many bond geometry group? Uh, you got three double bond, which is a uh, single bond. There are three uh, bond connectivity. So 4EG. 4EG means a tetrahedral, and tetrahedral and the 4 means sp3 hybrid orbital. So this is a really central in the figuring out the number of electron groups. And finally, the Lewis structures, as uh, trying to, uh, I'm trying to show it to you. So uh, here I draw the chlorine, and then there are oxygen, 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 and then, then there is a uh, one lone pairs, right? So this is where they are. And I told you before, this is how they have formed the bonds. And then this is where we start. We get rid of this uh, zero. So this is how things look like in the beginning. But now we have to finish the quote-unquote business of four more charges. Overall, this one has a minus one charges, and each one has a minus one, minus one, minus one. So I can I can see that chlorine must be two plus uh, to be there. Or you can just use the former charge formula to confirm this. So after saying that, uh, I think that I can minimize the charges. So by one of those two, will form the double bond and uh, minimize uh, the former charges uh, in the middle. So therefore, uh, that becomes essentially chlorine with lone pairs, double bond, double bond, single bond, okay? And then I'm going to give you the three-dimensional
with oxygen, with those connectivity with the negative charges. And this one can go, uh, this each three oxygen can have developed formal charges by having a formula resonance structures. But like I said before, you have a one lone pairs and then there is a one, two, three bonds. They are forming oxygen forming the bond with the chlorine. So now the tetrahedral is the, what I'm going to use as my geometries. So, okay, so I'm here, I'm drawing the tetrahedral. So again, this is a tetrahedral. And it's pretty common for people to choose the lone pairs in the, in the top because that's just easier to look at that. And the chlorine, and then you can see the single bond, double bond, double bond, oxygen with negative charges with three lone pairs, oxygen with double bond with two lone pairs, oxygen with double bond, with lone pairs. So therefore, this one is chlorine, like this, like that, like this, oxygen, 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 with minus. In your textbook, uh, the the solution key that um, Dr. Ma provided is they just showing like this. But you know, what they meant to show you is uh, they are just not showing complete lone pair. The, in the Lewis structures, and that's the, the final structures um, on that. And then they can go essentially back and forth with chlorine, with double bond oxygen, single bond, double bond. Right? So this one can form double bond, and they can form single bond. So this one now develop formal charges. And then they can go again uh, uh, they go like this, and then they will form four more charges. So chlorine once again now, and then this one double bond, double bond with single bond, with four more charges negative, oxygen, two lone pairs, two double bonds, and there is a one. Okay, and then overall this molecule obviously divide develop the negative charges and that's what it says in the problem right there okay so uh, what's my summary here okay so let's say I think I have drawn the Lewis structures but what is important is four electron group uh, geometry uh, so that means a tetrahedral geometry and hybrid orbital is shape wise three pyramidal shape and hybrid orbital wise four four means sp3 that counted as a four orbital hybridization so sp3 hybrid orbital okay so that's the answer for the uh, for the chlorine in the middle okay so that's that's the answer Thank you.